welcome everybody to episode four very excited to be here doing this one uh, i'm more actually excited for the future episodes i've been doing some recording for future episodes today and uh, i'm very excited to see for you to guys to see what i'm doing there but we'll uh, start with what we're doing here today which is the police precinct i'm also be doing some of the hospital area while we're there and this will be kind of what i'm doing with the city instead of doing a more starting from a small town and building naturally i am just you know building small sections of this city at a time so you'll see areas like this where it's like this huge police precinct but it's in the middle of nowhere with no citizens so you just have to um that's just kind of the style i'm going for here hopefully uh you guys still uh, like enjoying these kind of detailed builds like this i've got this big building because you know as country's got to have uh, its secret service it's uh intelligence agencies it's uh the place where it's going to spy on its citizens you know uh, i'm just ignore the kind of slapdash job i'm doing on these fences i kind of at some point lose patience with lining them up perfectly and just like ah oh, whatever you know from a distance they look fine you know they don't really make sense so that's why it kind of looks a bit crap when i i end up placing them around this little car park here so in front of the building i've got that little uh slip lane where you know imagine a uh, big important people like the head of intelligence will pull up in their fancy mercedes and get dropped off as well as have a like vip parking area here which is why i wanted to have a little security fence posted and gated off area because you know that's just where the uh, the very important senior people go uh, so i've got the big building there as well as just these other areas where they'll where the actual police cars just come from just doing a little car park here and place down some cars uh, i'm not sure if this is the size that you'd need for a country of the population we'll have but uh hopefully it works okay and we can add more if we need Okay, and we're moving right along into the hospital section. Uh, you can see that there's a little building up there at the top, which you didn't see during that time lapse, but I just placed that down as well in a little little extra space. That's another police building of some kind I got from the workshop. You're seeing my process of how I tackle an area like this from scratch. I'll put some roads down, go into the, air, into the category and just put down some buildings and just see what I can find from there. Let's go ahead to get yeah, the biggest bits, the center down, get the big broad, broad strokes and then figure out what you're going to do from the space off of that. I find that's best for me to find a, to make like a good looking area or complex like this. So I find this really cool big hospital asset on the workshop. You make this really cool hexagon roundabout around it. So it's going to take a little bit of time to figure out what road I want around the outside. I like the look of those cobblestone ones, but I thought with like ambulances and people coming down in an emergency, maybe something looks like a regular road would be a bit better. And I've also just put a parking lane down the inside. So when people come in an emergency, you need to drop someone off at the uh, emergency room or another side of the hospital, they can just uh, park there and if there's an emergency. But uh, if there's any place that does need proper parking, it's a hospital. But obviously this is a small compact area, small compact country. In general, I'm not gonna be having any flat car parks 
any more than that one which I put there, which I use for the police area. So putting down a parking garage there, I put some fences and bushes down, but I end up I should just removing these in a little bit because that kind of limits me right now. And I want to have a lot of buildings around, not just the one central building. Make it more of like a full complex area with few, with not just the one building taking care of everything. Found this hospital, which is uh, really nice in its own right, and I really like the little pedestrian overpass. So I decided I would just kind of merge it into the main building, which is a technique I will use a little bit through the city. We just push a few buildings together to try and make it look like one seamless building. I think it uh, worked really well here. Now, once I've figured out the, once I put down the bigger buildings and you start just start putting down a few more, just sort of trying to fit some in the space. That's how I like to go around filling out this area and making it look a bit nicer. So I put down these two buildings, which I think would be like a, uh, maybe like accommodation for the nurses and such. I'm not sure if that's actually in the game. I think I'm not sure if that's residential or uh, is an actual hospital building. But, he, and then I put down these other clinics and I put down a child health center here. Imagine there would be a little mix of different specialists and maybe like some private health providers here as well as like the big public one. And of course this city is, the country is big enough that I will need to have other uh, clinics scattered around the city. But I still think bringing down this big central part will be uh, the best way to do it. Uh, you can see here there's this red road with the red key coming down the side here you'll actually see me build this later on in the video that was a that just comes from i started building a hospital complex that i ended up not liking and i started over for this recording but i'd already built this section that you'll see later on in the video so that's why i'm just uh putting just uh, fixing up this red road here uh, this section I'm doing here is the ambulance station. So much like with the police car park, I'm putting down a car park here for the ambulances. There's an ambulance station there. And I'll just put other, a few other like ambulance and emergency related looking little warehouses and buildings here. Uh, then I, I do put down a staff room as well so when the paramedics and uh, ERTs are, are off shift they will have this little staff building that they can go in there for a quick rest if they're not going home and much like with the police cars just having these little uh, ambulances here just do so much for fleshing out and making this place look a lot better even before all the uh, other cars show up Another little building to fit in this little area. I like to have everything quite dense and compact, so I put this little fancy little clinic here. Could be some fancy specialist of some kind that's has some exorbitant fees, or just some private health clinic of some kind. I put this little key down. You can imagine people using that as a path to get up as well. As we're just putting wherever there's like a little messy seam or. Uh, some weird jank with the terrain height you just uh, plop down some trees and some bushes and kind of just hide it so it doesn't look too bad. At the front of the building here I thought I'd put down a nice little area for a park. So when you're uh, at the hospital you've just had your, your first kids being born or you've just found out you've got some horrible sexually transmitted disease you can come out here and contemplate life. Uh, possibly the uh, the beauty of it or the fragility and horrible nature of it depending on uh, what you're at the hospital for. I'm going to see this little cute path, put some, uh, I think I put some benches down, a nice little place to uh, relax if you're going to have a, a, an existential crisis of some kind. Uh, 
and there's areas, uh, these are the corners between buildings, so we're a bit uh, bare, so I decided I needed to do some detailing here, even just putting down these, these like tiles and uh, some just different flooring will uh, really help make it look a little bit less boring. And same here, there's like just a big open square, nothing too interesting to, nothing too interesting there, so make this little uh, flower bed outside of the paths. I think a little bit later on you'll actually see, I uh, made a mistake with the prop anarchy mod where I didn't set it to automatically start when I launch the game so you'll actually see a little bit later uh, this whole like all these trees I have to redo because I reloaded the save and I didn't have that enabled so I have to redo a few of those uh, bushes and stuff but uh, I've turned that on now so that shouldn't happen again in the future and you can see uh, the putting down these uh, little cobblestones that just makes it look so much nicer and I'm also putting down a little pedestrian overpass here because that's where I'll put the train station right there on the main road. Um, I didn't want it to be right on the inter on the uh, intersection, so having it back here meant they had to walk a little bit too far. So I thought this would be a perfect place to put a little interchange. It looks a little bit messy, maybe I could try and figure out a way to make that look a little bit prettier in the future, but that's where it is for now. I want to have a little bit nicer uh, key. Um, I put, so I decided to have this one, uh, mainly because uh, the keys didn't, that key didn't have a railing by default and that's kind of important I think. So I had to slap this one down. Uh, the, the grass texture is a little bit weird so I need to, f I'll fix it up in a little bit, just plucking down some, uh, some grass to make that look a little bit less, make it look a little bit more natural and just make it nicer in general. Again here, the uh, you can see like the where I put down these paths, things a little bit of jank with the terrain. So you just you put down some bushes, and it kind of just covers everything and makes it look a little bit nicer. Put down some benches and stuff to so you have a nice place, nice place to sit. I mean, it's just in front of a uh, freeway, so it's not that nice, but you know, you may want to have a little bit of rest there. Uh, you can see the interchange is a little bit different, and you can also see that parking garage there in the distance. That actually, I, that ends up, uh, I end up ripping that out and changing it all up, so you'll see me do something different in a future episode, but that's just uh, a, uh, was a work in progress that did not end up make, won't end up making any videos, so you can ignore that. Here I used the, I wanted some death care, so I just put down the crematorium and sort of again mush it into this building and that works as both as a functional death care but also it actually looks like a nice little entrance so that looks, uh, so I think that looks quite, that was a good effect. Here I'm trying to figure out a way to down grass that requires me to not place every bit manually but then I fail and I end up having to just put down all the grass manually which is uh, slightly annoying to make this area look nice but um, whatever wasn't uh, too bad in the end just make it look a little bit more natural a little bit less weird and artificial I mean it could just be artificial grass I mean I guess that's fine but you know but you know trying to go the extra mile here and again to put down uh, some bushes and everything makes it look uh, a little bit nicer You'll see me do a lot of just wherever there's a little bit of spare space. I'll just you'll see me just plop down trees and bushes and stuff, and I'll have that all through the city, which might be a little overkill and might be a bit repetitive. But you know, I think it does look really nice. So especially in an area like this, where I think you know hospitals aren't the nicest places in the world, so having uh, some nice bushes and trees would uh, hopefully yeah uh, make things a bit nicer. bit here at the front you can see like there's a little bit of greenery they put down there but then uh, when I add these trees and bushes and things here I think it's uh just really makes this front area just really come alive and makes it look so much nicer especially with this loot the uh the colors just really look really nice uh, here's an example of just placing a building 
inside the other building, like the corner there just looked kind of empty and bare. So I've got this this uh, cafe looking thing. I think it might actually be a food building. Just phase it into the bottom of the hospital there as like another entrance to like a cafeteria area where people, public and staff can uh, go get some food from there. So maybe this area um, just bring down a, an invisible path so people can use this key as an actual path and maybe a little bit overgrown in that one section that's not probably not uh realistic but uh you know whatever it, sh it should be okay and hopefully people do use it as a an actual walking path I'm trying to force the game to make paths like i would like let's put down a few little bushes like i do everywhere else especially uh outside of the children's hospital i thought having a nice uh, amount of green over there would help now uh, that that's an example i showed said before where the trees were getting deleted and i've had to put those back in again again another little corner of the hospital where i just didn't know what to put in there make this little turn off where the cars aren't allowed then i'll just put down a planter with some trees and stuff to you know again just uh where when in doubt put down trees um when i started this series i wasn't sure what kind of uh temperate what kind of longitude latitude this country was in what kind of trees i would have naturally um and i wasn't going for like a tropical island but but i've started putting down more palm trees and these coconut trees and it kind of makes it look a little bit more uh tropical there so i don't know maybe as we build this out we'll figure out what kind of uh, area it is maybe this will be a bit more beachy and tropical than i was originally thinking of again just a little details just to make it uh, look a little bit nicer i can you know i can probably go back to these areas and add more things and it'll make it look even better but even just like you put in a couple tiles a little more planters um there's a little fountain in the fountain just uh, so we can have double fountain and some more little bushes and uh, you know it really makes the place feel alive i think i don't think i record it because i had to subscribe to some and then come in the workshop and then come back but i did actually get some uh bike racks and bike stands and i had to uh, put those down around that area and around the whole hospital Yeah, it's not a little park where you can, uh, if you're having uh, some kind of existential crisis, you can uh, come around here and uh, lay amongst the flowers and think about things. And I put down a little uh, invisible pedestrian path there, so hopefully people actually do walk through this little field of flowers here. Uh, this is before I figured out the trick to make bushes and stuff not actually have that little dirt patch around them. I think I figured that out. I think you have to turn off the collision or something, and that fixes that up. Here, here's another example of where I all the trees got erased because I forgot to turn and kill by default. It's finishing off, fixing up those, put a little uh, wall there to make the whole thing look a little bit more cohesive. And that is uh, at least for now. That's our hospital complex done.
and finally the uh, the red road area that you saw. So I saw this asset, which was a you know graveyard and crematorium area, uh, building rather. And I saw this area up on top of the hill, and I thought that that was perfect because the you know that's a really nice little crematorium area, but it didn't really fit in that hospital complex that I was building. So I decided I'm going to put it up on the hill, and we can have this as like the main funeral services crematorium and graveyard for the city. I mean, the graveyard is actually pretty small, so I guess it couldn't actually function for the entire city, but I'm not really sure how a small city deals with that. So I've just plopped this one down, and I'm assuming that the country just does a lot of cremations. I don't really know how that's going to work, but either way, I put this down. I think it looks really nice. So I've done this uh, pleasant little drive up, because, you know, if you're going to have a horrible occasion you might as well have it in a lovely garden on the hilltop overlooking the city which isn't quite you know in nature but close enough uh, i've got these little gardens here which again for people to have existential crises crises and they freak out they've got this little garden and gazebo they can go sit down in and if they uh you know need to uh have a place to cry which i imagine uh, a few people do at a funeral uh, you know I don't know why I would think that but it just seems like a place that that happens a lot a bunch of just seating where you can look out over the city and there was this little dippy so I was like fuck it let's flood the entire city and then turn down the settings and then make an actual little pool and uh, that came out really nicely it's uh, gorgeous especially with this uh, lots such like so it's such a nice blue do this little path around it's honestly a place you just want to go up and chill if it weren't for all the uh the graves there but i'm sure like you know people will go up in there and see their loved ones and they'll be able to just uh, have a nice uh hopefully half decent time while they're there All this, uh, these large foliage areas, uh, foliage uh, props, are just perfect for it. it. Looks really nice. I have to use those a bit more in the uh, city, I think. So yeah, just uh, plop down a few more trees, and then that's uh, all we've got for this episode. Next episode, we're tackling more of the uh, that central leisure district and that around that big uh, central building. So if you uh, stay tuned for that, let me know what you think about this uh, little area. I'm pretty happy with the, uh, especially this little last section here. I think it looks really nice. But I'll leave you with the uh, B-roll and hopefully see you next time.